Now well, let me introduce you to my new washing machine. Giantix. It's, um, oh man, it's on Amazon for like 220 bucks or something like that. 1.6 cubic feet of capacity. Very, very adjustable. There's so many adjustments on here that I will never use them all. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I found nothing at all negative about this machine except the hose that comes with this machine is not garden hose thread. I, I've got the uh, specs to it. I'll if I still have them, I'll include it. It took a while for me to research what was going on with this thing. Um, what I ended up doing was I went I went back and forth to the hardware store. I went to uh, uh, Amazon to see what other people were buying in conjunction with this and ordered that stuff. It didn't work. It didn't work. So um, I ended up taking the simplest route was because I really wanted for this to stay connected that was you know my goal i wanted to be able to just instead of unhooking everything moving everything back and forth i wanted to be able to just turn the water on or use a sink turn it on to the washer or use a sink that's what i wanted so i used the original hose i got this off amazon and i got this bushing that converts this hose to that thread that's out of here. I'll, I'll include all that if I can find the uh, part numbers and stuff. But that works like a champ. So to cut this thing on, you give it some water, turn your faucets on, turn your power on, select your water level. I'm just gonna do uh, a towel and a rag. So I'm just gonna guess, you know, level two. You can set your program to delay the start. I, I would never use that. So put your soap in, throw your clothes in, and it tells you it's going to take about uh, BB means watch. You got a little code right here. You can you can also program it to you know let it soak and do all kinds of stuff. But it starts out the way I use it. I just I just start it. You know. So it's going to take 45 minutes to wash and spin these things and then I'll hang them dry. So, um, when this is done, I'll show you uh, an additional feature that this has that I didn't have before. So that's the level of water on um, position two. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my tiles in there so it can heat it up and it will adjust the water level as needed. Pretty slick. So it didn't need much. Alright, let's let that run a little while. 41 minutes. And it's pretty sick. This wash it's, this is washing stuff so much better than I could with a manual washer. You know. And the kicker is this thing is cheaper than the spinner that I had, just the spinner. So I mean it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Live and learn. Learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make them. Buy this. Buy this. Almost done. One more thing I wanted to show you was uh, the, the drain hose comes with this plastic hoop. You know, so it'll it would go over you know something tight like this but that doesn't do you any good if you're going to drain it into a sink mine anyway the area here is too large so i tried to fabricate something that would uh, go over that and was successful in fabricating it but the weight of the hose would just pull it over the whole thing pull over so i'm like all right well keep it simple and the simple thing was I went in the shop and I found a spring with hooks on each end. I hook one end of the spring down inside the drain, bring it up and zip tie the other hook to the hose so it keeps it in place.
Easy peasy. Okay, perfect time. Laundry done. You take your stuff out. It's it, it doesn't drip, so it's doing the same job the spinner did. The bonus is you got a lint trap. And I just cleaned this before I put uh, towels in here, so I know it works. All right, well, there's one more thing that I can get you to spend money on. The, uh, maybe, if you got an RV, small apartment, um, running off grid, what's this thing, uh, let's see if I can find some details on that real quick. I don't want to move it. I'll look in the, I'll look in the description on, online and see how many watts um, of power it consumes and all that stuff. So if you're running off grid, you know, maybe your converter or your solar panels um, would not be burdened too much with this, whereas a uh, larger washer may. And certainly a dryer is out of the question unless it's gas, but you wouldn't want to use that. Just use your good old sunshine. All right, got any questions, shoot them down below. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. If, uh, if you like what you see, more to come. Thanks for watching.